Have you ever procrastinated on something for months and months and months? And then when the day comes to make you like, oh my goodness, I can't believe it took me this many months to do it. Well, hi lovelies. Today, this is a confessions of a procrastinator because I've been procrastinating on making body butter for myself and my entire family for months. So let me show you why I do it and all you need and how easy it is so that you don't also procrastinate like me. Okay, here are the ingredients. We love using shea butter or shea butter, depending on where you come from, because it's so good for anti-inflammatory. Some of our kids have eczema and dry skin. This is fantastic for hair, skin, nails, everything. And today we are taking it a notch higher, a notch higher because I'm going to use also cocoa butter. Now these both are pure and organic, original from Ghana, all right? So you can, uh, yeah, I absolutely feel confident in their quality. And how you know it is pure and unprocessed is that it's yellowish like this because the processed one will kind of sort of be like white and also has a nutty flavor. So I'm, these are my main two butters that I'm going to make. And my carrier oil today is going to be coconut oil. You can use olive oil, any oil that you like. And I'm also going to use some cornstarch. I've just been doing some research recently and I found that this cornstarch helps to reduce the greasiness of your butter. I was going to add some glycerin but found that, that I have very little. This is a very good, um, very good for moisturizing the skin. But thankfully, I had some liquid paraffin which I am going to add. So you can use either glycerin or liquid paraffin. And for the nice smell, I'm going to use either lemon, both lemon and orange. So I'm going to make two batches. I want to make a lot. And the good thing is that these body butters are oil based, so they are going to not go bad anytime soon. So they're going to last us like three to six months, even a year. I'm going to make a lot and I can give to people. I just want to make a lot to make up for lost time. Okay, so let's do this. So the first thing I want to do is to melt the, the, this, the hard oils. And I'm going to start with cocoa butter because it's so much harder than the shea butter. And today I'm going to use a double boiler method. And in the other video, I said we can use um, we can use a microwave as well. But this will go a lot faster, and we're trying to preserve as many nutrients as we can. So, and because these ingredients are natural, I don't have a problem using my kitchen equipment. Oh, it's smelling so nice! Oh my goodness, it almost smells like chocolate. What? It smells so good. Basically, the double boiler method is where you put some water in a pan or in a pot and then you put a bowl and then you put whatever you're heating on top of that boiling water. So it is actually the steam that's melting the shea butter and cocoa butter and this helps to preserve the most moisture and the most uh, vitamins as opposed to the microwave. But you can also use a microwave if you wish. Now that the cocoa butter is almost all melted, I want to put in the shea butter. Basically, because this is not for sale, it's just for our own home use. I'm just sort of like eyeballing, but I'm trying to go with 60% butters and then the carrier oil and the liquid paraffin and everything will be 40%. As you can see, this is quite soft, so I'm sure it's going to melt so much faster. And I don't want to overheat it because I want to now later put this into the fridge. Or freezer to solidify quickly before we whip it. It's quite soft, I guess, because we're having a hot day today. So it should melt pretty fast. Ooh. So uh, what I've already put in is half a kilo of 500 grams and I'm putting another half a kilo. Usually I would use just like 250 grams or at maximum half a kilo. But I'm telling you guys after the amount of procrastination I have engaged in, let me just make a lot. And then the kids, <laughs> they use it so fast. 
in the morning, in the, in the evening, before they go to bed, for hair. We actually go through this quite a bit, which is nice. Because you know now it's natural, you know you're giving your, your people uh, things that don't have chemicals. So absolutely have no problem if they use them as often as they need. Yeah, that's nice. It's tipping. Here we have our dinner going. We're having mashed potatoes. So my husband will take care of that. We've already removed one stew from the freezer, from our freezer mills. That's how I can afford to be making body butter when it's dinner time because I know my dinner is already made in the freezer. And guys, I'm going to put a link for where you can get the pure, raw, original shea butter and cocoa butter. I'll put it in the pinned comment and in the description down below in case you're interested. So as I said, we are completely out of anything to apply on our bodies so the kids have showered but we don't have any body butter but thankfully i have a lot on my hands so the best way to use it is to just put it on them it's a mom's life so i have a few lumps remaining but those ones are going to melt as we continue with the mixing because i'm really trying to not overheat this so let's go put in our other ingredients so now I need to put in our coconut oil. I'm going to mix, mix everything here apart from the essential oils. Then at that point, I'm going to prepare it. Then. So I'm going to put the carrier oil because it's hot enough. Yeah, this coconut oil melts so fast. So it's going to be just fine. This is cooking coconut oil and you can use this for cooking for everything else. So that's okay, we're good. If you don't like it, your oil being very oily, maybe you can use another type of oil. And then that's why we're also going to put the cornstarch. You can also put arrowroot powder, which I wish I had, but I don't have. Or tapioca, which is just cassava flour. That helps to reduce the greasiness. So you do, <laughs> your kids are not shining like they used to shine when you were young and we'd apply Vaseline. But it still, it still gets easily absorbed into the skin. So we said about 40%. What you're putting now is what will determine how thick or soft the body butter will be in the end. I feel like that's enough. So, this spot. Mix this so it can melt. You can see it's already melting quite fast. And now I put in the other moisturizer, which is liquid paraffin. For the cornstarch, we're going to put it just before we whip it or when we're in the middle of whipping. So I feel like this is quite a bit. We can now separate the two and all the coconut oil is almost completely melted, so we're good. What the coconut oil has also helped in doing is bringing down the temperature so that we're not putting into our freezer something that's very hot. I'm also going to leave it on the counter for a few minutes. Oh 
essential oil and uh, glycerin or liquid paraffin are all very optional. The most important ingredients for making your own body butter is the the shea butter and or cocoa butter, but then you can use either or. So far, I've just been using shea butter just for this time. I decided to add some cocoa butter because it is so helpful for our skin. And a carrier oil, like I said, olive oil or coconut oil. Those are the two main things. So it goes into the fridge for an hour. Freezer, sorry. Because that's how we're going to be able to whip it. But I'll set a timer and I'll keep checking because then you don't want it to become again too frozen. In the meantime, let me show you what I'm going to use to store my body butter. Boom! This is what I'm going to use to store my body butter. Ask me why. Well, I wish I had nice fancy schmancy, nice looking mason jars, but I don't. And I'm a big fan of recycling. So, if you've ever wanted to recycle your glass jars, this is your permission to do so <laughs> if you needed it. And I want to clean them and remove this sticker. I've been researching how to do how to do that. So as we wait for our whatever to freeze, let's go to the sink to see whether we can remove this. I bet we can remove this. And it's going to look very nice by the way. Okay? Let us save Mother Earth by recycling these glass jars. Let's go. So I'm going to use the hot water that I was using for the double boiler. Some dishwashing soap. I don't have liquid, but I'll use this one. It's fine. As long as it dissolves inside, they're good. And our white vinegar. So apparently, this should be enough to remove these stickers completely without leaving the glue. Let's find out. Plus, we even need to sanitize our jars anyway. No. Give it five minutes, then we shall come back. So it is refusing. If you're new here hi my name is Susie and on this channel we just try to make motherhood magical whether it's cooking organizing our home and doing a lot of DIY so if this is the kind of content that you like please remember to subscribe and also my original OG guys so glad to see you back here please give this video some love by giving us some thumbs up it means so much to me and thank you So clearly, method one of removing these stickers is a lie. It's a lie, oh, okay? These ones are not budging. Thankfully, I have another method up my sleeve, which is where you take some baking soda and mix it with some oil, and then use this to actually scrub off the stickers from the jars. And what do you know this works so 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 well i am jazzed and i have a long future ahead with clean stickerless jazz so this has chilled well enough for about an hour in the freezer then one thing that has happened to me before is if I let it chill for too much, then whipping it becomes so hard. So it's very important to just make sure it's an hour. So it's kind of chilled on top, but not too much. And now let's whip it. As I say, today I'm going to try adding cornstarch to the body butter to see whether it's going to reduce the greasiness. One thing about shea butter is that as much as it looks greasy when you first apply, it gets absorbed into the skin so much faster. But the cornstarch will help reduce any greasiness that might be there. 
So I know you might be wondering why exactly we whip the body butter. Whipping, it's not necessary by the way, but it is nice because it gives the whole body butter a lighter texture and makes it easier to apply. And the whipped consistency also allows the body butter to penetrate the skin, delivering the nutrients and locking in moisture. And some say even the whipped shea butter can help with stretch marks. It is said to boost collagen production, help the body regenerate skin cells and encourage healthy cell growth so you can actually do this and just not repeat the most important thing obviously is the ingredients which is making sure you have pure raw organic shea butter and cocoa butter but also the whipping takes it a step further because it helps it helps it to be easier to apply and easily absorbed into the skin And I am done. Look at this. This should last us for a good, 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 at least half a year. If not a year, I can be optimistic. <laughs> One idea that we got from my mom is, you know, when the kids would oil themselves after showering, they would put so much initially when you have just one jar. And so she was like, we're going to challenge them, everyone to have their own jar of body butter. And then we'll see who finishes theirs first. And we're just going to gauge and see who wastes the most. And I thought that was a good idea. That's why it's good to parent with your parents. So everybody has one of these and I've just filled them with, um, yeah, with the amazing body butter. I, I couldn't find one and the kids are asleep. So I yeah, decided it's not worth picking them up to ask where one jar is. So we are going to deal with that. And this, I love this one. This is so cute. This is going to fit right into my handbag. I'm going to take it everywhere. Then we have the rest, the big jars for the grown-ups, for refilling the smaller ones what now let me show you how smooth this body butter is watch this space look at this look at this you guys what look at that wow it is so creamy even when i put it like right there my hands are already so oily because i've they've just just like look at that and then it looks shiny now but once you rub it into your hands it just looks nice and moisturized without being too much you know what okay i have been doing this like all evening i have been applying and reapplying my skin is very happy today as is my pocket as is my family yes <laughs> so i'm going to link the shea butter and the cocoa butter down below but i am a happy happy camper this is good if you want to find out also how to make your own yogurt, I've done a fantastic video here. Very great flavors that you won't believe how easy it is to make flavored but delicious and healthy yogurt. See you over there. Bye.